Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So those of you that have been with me for a while, you probably know that I, I primarily channel. I mean, I use the cards as a tool, but I get messages from my subscribers through my dreams, through, you know, I might get visuals. Uh, I'm clairsentient, uh, claircognizant, among, among other things. Um, so sometimes when I sit to do these readings, I know what the reading is already. Like my spirit guides kind of just relay the information to me and I, I know I can I can tune in and feel what's going on and get a sense of everything. And then I come on and do the reading. Other times I'll just sit and pull cards and just see what wants to come out. But this is one of those times where I'm picking up on an energy. This is somebody from your past from whoever this is for. I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So this may or may not be for you. Only take it if it resonates but you have someone from your past who is just straight up delusional. <laughs> like this person is, this person is, is delusional. They're very entitled, very possessive. This isn't the person that I've been channeling the past few weeks. This is somebody different. Um, because we have been doing like a past love reading and this is not that same person. This is somebody else because I don't feel like you've talked to this person or I don't feel like you've seen this person in the last year. I feel like this is someone from years ago. This is probably someone from, I would say at least two years ago. I would say for some, it's more like four or five years. Like you might've even known this person in another location. You might've moved and you knew this person like when you lived somewhere else. Like this is this is not someone that you've been close to the past year or so. This is like someone from your your very distant past years ago. Two years minimum is what I'm feeling. Um, this person is ridiculous. I'm not gonna, I'm I'm not gonna lie. This person is is absolute that I'm tuning into is absolutely ridiculous. Like they do not. And I want to I want to go into it too to see if there's any stalker vibes or anything that you need to know about this because I feel like this person is trying to crawl back into your energy. And this person I don't want to say they're a narcissist necessarily, but the I like I I kept laughing to myself like I had to like I had to ground myself a little bit before I did the reading because I kept laughing because I'm like this sense of entitlement and the delusion that I'm picking up on from this person is unreal. Like it is absolutely unreal. Like this person does not have a snowball's chance in hell with you, but they think they do. This person that's coming back in, they, th <laughs> this is someone that I think you really loved them at some point. You guys might've been engaged or you might have talked about marriage with this person, or you just, you said, you said or did something to make them feel like they were your forever person or that you really, you know, or that you at least saw a future with them, that you were open to getting to know them and possibly having something long-term. Because there's something that happened, I think in the past, some kind of communication between the two of you where they really felt like they could wait as long as they wanted and they could come back around and you would always be there. Again, this is not the same person that we've been channeling the past few weeks. This is somebody else. This is not that person from the past year that's kind of taking you for granted. That's not this person. This is somebody from years ago. Like I keep getting two years minimum. Like you guys dated like at least two years ago. Like this is, this has been, you guys have been out of contact with whoever this person is for so long. Like you don't, you probably don't even have each other's phone numbers or like uh, social media anymore. Like you, you, this is like a long time ago. Like you guys have lost contact with this person. And I just, I feel like I know I'm unprofessional for laughing, but I'm like, this person has to be so freaking entitled to like, think that after years, not one year, but like years, literal years that they could just pop back in and you'd be there. This person is almost, I don't know if they have like a mental illness, but they got something going on where they really... They're, they're not, I don't know what's wrong with them, but they're, they're delusional. Um, you have to be careful being nice to this person too. If this person does try to crawl back into your energy and they try to message you and they try to make small talk, like, Hey, it's been a while. How are you doing? You have to, I'm, I'm not saying you have to be cold hearted with them, but you have to be careful because of this person's delusions, if you're too nice to them, they're going to take it as confirmation that like, oh, see, they were waiting for me. They've always loved me. And it's, it's not it's not like that. You're if this person's texting you or whatever, you're just you're just being nice. You're being casual. You're nice to everybody. It's not there. There's no feelings there on your your end from what I'm seeing. 
but I do want to go into it. I do want to see what else the, I want to, I want to get into this energy. Um, yeah, let's see what I can pick up. What else I can feel from this. I'm just getting, I don't think narcissistic is the right word. I'm trying to find the right word for it. It's just, just delusional and entitled are the words that keep coming up for me when I channel this person. I feel like you don't, <laughs> I feel like you have multiple options in love right now. Like you might have um, someone from your recent past that you're still, that you still love and you're not sure about and then someone new coming in or you could just be dating like new people in general. Like I feel like you have multiple options and this person thinks that they're one of the options. This person's like trying to compete with the other options and they don't, they're, they're not, they're, they're so delusional. They're not even like recognizing they're not, they're out of the game. They've been out of the game for a long, long time. Like they have been out of the game for a long time, but they think that they think they can compete. They actually think that they might be one of these options for you. And it's, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, just, just no, definitely not. <laughs> um, Let's see what else I can feel from this. I'm going to pull cards too. When I, when I talk like this, I'm not just rambling. I am, this is channeling, you know, this is what channeling is. It's, it comes in multiple forms, but I'm, I'm tuning into the energy. My spirit guides are letting me know what's going on and I'm, I'm tapping in. So this, you know, this, this isn't rambling. This is actual channeling. But, um, anyway, let me, let me tune in a little bit more and see what else I can feel from this. Let me see. I, I feel a little bit of a, <laughs> it's just it's just it's like an I'm ready now vibe like like surprise I'm ready like because you might have told this person like again years ago like I think there was like some kind of I think you did at one point see this person in a serious light like you did at one point want marriage or some kind of future with them but that's long since passed that's so much time has gone by you've had plenty of time to mourn and move on from this um I just I just keep hearing them saying like I'm ready now <laughs> Like, like they think they can just pop back up. Like, yeah, it's been like three, four years, but hey, what's up? Like, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, whatever you said, I feel like it kind of, for some reason, it's like this person just felt like you would always wait, like you would always be theirs or something. Like maybe you told them you'd never stop loving them or maybe you told them, um, like there was some kind of like serious aspect, some something that made them feel like this is, hey, this is long term. And I think it was for you. I mean, I think back then, but I mean, like I said, you've had you've had probably years to mourn this and move on from this. You know, a lot of time has gone by. But yeah, they're under the impression that that I think they were under the impression that they could go do whatever they wanted and kind of figure their life out. They might have even been in like a third party situation that they were trying to uh, calm things down in, or they were trying to, you know, sort through things or they needed to get like, um, like I'm hearing like, like physical or mental health back on track or, um, like they needed to figure some stuff out in their life. And so I think this person really thought that they could just go do all that in come back years later like they didn't even it's, it's really ridiculous with this person because I don't even get the sense that they felt a sense of urgency. I, I really think this person just went and did their own thing for like two, three years, maybe even longer than that. Um, wow. And yeah, now they want to come crawling back. Now they want to come back into your energy. And you just don't even want them. Like you're don't, you don't, you don't feel a thing for this person. You're not interested. Um, but yeah, they just, they just figured you'd be there. I don't know if they thought you were waiting necessarily. I think more of the energy, they just kind of felt like, like they could do whatever. And like in the end, they could come back and maybe start things over with you again and kind of win you back and, and get that same emotion that you used to have for them back again. Wow. I am getting a little bit of a stalker vibe. Like they might be watching you on some kind of platform. Um, like if you're a YouTuber yourself, they might be watching you on YouTube or if you're like on like TikTok or like Instagram, Facebook, whatever, it's like they might be like watching your posts. They're like, they, it's almost like a possessive vibe. It's almost like, like they feel like 
you're theirs. They feel like you're always going to be theirs. And you're just like, dude, no. <laughs> like, no, I haven't been yours for a long time. Oh, God. I know I keep I need I need to stop laughing. I know it's mean of me to laugh, but like just just the entitlement, just this delusion is like unreal. <laughs> and it makes sense if like if you if you really love someone and you go like, you know, months or even like a year without like if you you know, if there's that distance, that makes sense. But to go over like two years or more, oh hell no. Okay. Let's let's look into this. Yeah, because it's like, I just feel like they're in there. I don't, that's why I keep feeling like maybe there's like a mental illness or something because they're so delusional because they know you have options. Like some of them are watching you on social media and they see that you're in a new relationship or they're finding information out like through mutual friends or they're just spying somehow. Like they might even be making fake profiles, fake accounts and adding you from those fake profiles if you have them blocked because they want to like keep tabs on you and see what you're doing. And it's like, I just feel like they're like competing, but it, it's like, there's no, like they're, they're not even in the race. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're so far removed from that. Like they're, they're not even, you don't even see them as an option. You don't, you don't see them as someone that you would ever want to be with again after all this time. And honestly, I'm sorry. Like this is, this is, <laughs> this isn't professional of me. I'm sorry. I know. Um, I'm not really that professional on this channel. You guys that watch me, you know that. I talk a lot of shit on here. <laughs> but what I'm feeling is this person's basic. Like, male or female, this is a basic bitch. I'm not going to lie. This person's basic as hell. <laughs> like, I feel like what made this person special was you. Honestly, when you guys were together, your love, your light, the the way you saw this person, the way you kind of inspired them to live their life, um to go out and do things like open their mind up uh, maybe like have new life experiences like you are what made this person special that that energy that you were seeing in them is actually it's in you does that make sense it's like you were seeing it's like you were that light you were that inspiration but honestly I don't I don't I mean it's mean but I don't feel like there's anything super special about this person like there's not um like, I'm not getting a strong creative side. I'm getting, like, average intelligence, um, you know, basic average level of empathy. Like, I'm not, I'm not getting, like, they don't really have, like, a weird silly vibe as far as I'm picking up at least. Like, I'm just not, I'm not getting anything about them that stands out. I'm getting that they're very average. Um, yeah, let's get into it with cards, though. Let's see what else we, we can say about this. <laughs> Because if you go, like, over two years without seeing someone or without, like, being, like, talking or being close, like, you're out. You're not, you're not coming back after that. Give me a break. Because I really don't, I don't feel, I don't even get the energy that this was someone that, like, tuned, like, checked in with you. You know what I mean? It wasn't, like, one of those situations where it's, like, hey, I really miss you. I'm trying to figure out my life. It was, like, like, no contact for, like, over a year, two years, like, just nothing. Not a word. Um... Anyway, let's get into this. Let's get into like that stalker kind of energy I'm getting. Like be careful with like fake profiles, anything like that. Because I really feel like this person feels, um, I don't know if they see you as like a possession, but almost, almost like they feel like they have some kind of claim on you or something. I mean, it's a little, I'm not getting like a major danger, dangerous energy from this, but it, it's like a little weird though that someone would actually think that they could like, it's just the fact that this person felt like they didn't have to do anything at all. Like, it's the fact that they felt so entitled that there wasn't even, like, the check-ins. Like, hey, like, I miss you. I'm trying to figure it out, but I'm trying to come back to you. There wasn't, I don't even feel like there was that. It, it's just, like, the entitlement of, like, really just being MIA for, like, years and coming back in. Like, oh, like, they used to love me. I'm sure I could you know, get back into their energy and slowly win them over again and have that kind of connection with them again. Like, they feel like you belong to them. It's creepy. Yeah, they don't, they don't have a chance with you anymore. That's what I'm feeling. 
But if you know who this is, block this person out of your energy field too, because it's it's like a. I don't feel like they can really. Um, because I do feel like I do feel like for a lot of you, you do have a past person you're dealing with, but it's someone from like the past year. And then you also have new love coming in. Or for others, it's like you're just going out and like you're meeting new people just in general. It's like you, you, you know, it's it's like newer, newer, even if it's the past year, that's still relatively new, right? Um and like I don't think they can necessarily block it for you. Like I don't think they could block other people, but it's it's like they want to. And it's almost like this person's like a little like one of those irritating little bees or flies or something, you know what I mean? Where it's, it's like, it's, I don't think they're, I mean, use your discernment, use your intuition. If you do feel like this person's dangerous and you need to take precautions, you know, lock your doors or windows. If you, if you feel called to definitely, but I'm getting more of a, just that entitled kind of vibe from them. Like, Like, like they think that they're, they think that they're one of those people that's competing for you and there, there's no, there's no competition. You're, you don't even, you don't even look at them like that anymore. You don't even want this person in your life in general, I don't think. Like, you're just, you're not into it. Okay, let's get into it. Let's see, let's see what's in here. Let's see what, let's see what's in here. Let's see what the cards want to say. <laughs> They might almost get like a trickster energy, almost like a Loki type energy, like a. Maybe Loki is like the wrong, maybe that's the wrong term. It's like a, I don't know. It's just, it's like a, like an irritating little bug. It's like, it's. It's like they can't really block it, but I almost feel like they can like cause an annoyance. It's almost like, do you kind of feel this person in your energy field? Like they're kind of just, it's like a, an annoyance, but it's not really anything that serious. Does that make sense? Like they're strategizing. Oh, I have my cards upside down. Oops. Page of Wands, Seven of Cups. Yeah, delusional. Illusion, deception. Like they're sitting there thinking about how to get back into your energy field and there's no option. They think they have all these different options like, oh, I could say this or I could do this or I could, you know, I'll try to I'll try to win them back. Like they're trying to think about how they could get you to feel the way you used to feel about them years ago. Like when you did see something long term with them, they're like, well, how do I do this? How do I strategize? Do I do I come in and just be casual and, and act like I just want to be friends um, do I come in and act like I just, you know, need some advice and some assistance and slowly ease my way back in? Should I just, you know, tell them straight up how I feel? Um, like, like, how do I weasel my way back in? And there, there's no, there's no option. There is no weaseling back in. You're, you're over it. Yeah, you're blocked. You're over it. You've been over this for a long time. Like, you're not attracted to this person anymore, even. Like I feel, I feel like you got closure from this. I feel like whatever they did or something to end, to like end this, I feel like it really, um, cause I don't get the sense of there being unfinished business between you two. I don't, I don't get any sense of there being like unfinished karma or like any karmic lessons you need to teach them or they need to teach you. I'm not getting any of that. I'm getting that you guys both learned your karmic lessons in this situation already, whatever this was. This was a karmic connection. This wasn't, this wasn't true love. This wasn't like, a. it might've, it might've, um, you, there might've been like, you might've felt like there was a lot of potential and really had love for this person at the time when you guys were together. But I'm, I'm getting that this was more karmic, um, not one of those like meant to be situations or anything. But yeah, it's like they're strategizing. They're strategizing and considering their options to to crop, to weasel their way back into your energy field. They're not realizing they're blocked. They're never coming back into your energy field again. No matter what they do, they'll they're they're never gonna have a chance with you again. This is like you you don't you you there's no physical attraction on your end. There's no emotional or mental attraction either. 
you your perspective on this completely changed i feel like i feel like you recognize too what made this person special was your attachment to them or your your energy i feel like and i don't want to say it's like not real love at all i don't mean it like that i just mean it's like um how do i explain it how do i explain this energy true love is very hard to get over you can't you know it can take years to get over true love um and I don't feel like this was true love because I don't get the sense that it took you that long to get over this person it might have taken you maybe a few months or so but I and I don't because when it's true love you can't really like shake the person you know what I mean it's like your soul is crying out for them like you want when it's meant to be it's like you guys are going to want to be together it's going to be like a pull where you can't really just forget about them that easily. Maybe you can distract yourself, but it's like they always come back into your energy field. But this is more of a situation where it's like, I feel like you did, even if you love this person, it's like you moved on within a few months. Like your perception shifted. Um, Like your soul wasn't crying out for them is basically what I was saying. You might have been sad on like a mental physical level, like on a 3D level, you were sad about this ending, but I feel like you had closure and your perception shifted and, and like, you know, more and more you actually felt like you were better off without this person. Like you felt happier without this person. You felt like your energy was lighter without this person. You know, I think that you were kind of, um, I mean, it's very karmic. Like, I do think that you maybe maybe you guys saw marriage together or you saw like potential there. But I think it's more like for one or both of you, I think I think you were settling. I think it was more like you were ready to find your person. You were ready to find your true love. You're ready to be married already. And this person was, you know, they, they were available. They were there. Um, and so you were just kind of like, OK, sure, like this is it. You know, it was it was almost like. I don't want to say the relationship was like an illusion, but almost like that, where it's like when you guys were together, you thought more highly of them, like you saw them differently, like you did see marriage or you did see something long term, like when you were in the relationship. And then like when that karmic cycle was over, when when that energy cleared, whatever they did might have like really closed it for you too. like that could have been it as well. Like it might have been that you really did feel serious about this person. Not all of you were settling. Some of you really did feel serious about this person, but it's like whatever they did just shifted your perspective where you're like, oh, hell no, like this is not the kind of this isn't what I want. Like this isn't this isn't for me. I don't resonate with this. I made a mistake like like you really you really started seeing it differently and you really just genuinely moved on from it. Um And you, you had that closure, basically, is is that chapter already closed out like you, you, whatever they did, whatever they said, whatever happened, it gave you closure. Even if you guys didn't have that discussion, there might have just been some kind of betrayal or something that happened that just made you kind of blocked and be like, wait a minute, this isn't for me. You know, especially if you're already kind of settling, like if it was already like if you were already unsure about it, you know what I mean? It's like you weren't you weren't willing to deal with all that for this person. You didn't you might have loved them, but I don't think you loved them enough to to deal with whatever that was. Um Yeah. Let's see. It's like the fog lifted when you, when they did, when they betrayed you or when they left or whatever happened, it's, it's like the fog just kind of lifted and you kind of looked at it different. There might've been little red flags here and there too. Like, especially if you were like settling for them and you were already kind of like, you know, I think I do love this person. I think I could see marriage here and I'm getting older and I don't want to wait forever. Like, you know, I think there is a connection here. Like this works for me. Like there's, there's like a familiarity not like not like a ton of passion or romance, but just kind of like a like, oh, this is familiar. Like this is comfortable. You know, this could work. Sure. Um, for others, I mean, you might have had the passion and romance and then whatever they did just killed it for you where you're just like you you lost that that the the sexual attraction or passion, especially if they like cheated or did, did anything like that. I feel like you just 
there's some kind of block here where you were just kind of repulsed by them towards the end or, at, or after it, it ended and you guys had that perception shift. Um, okay, let's get into it. But yeah, especially if you were settling, it's like you wouldn't want to, you know, you wouldn't be open to dealing with all that. Show me the, let's see. Two of Pentacles, the tower. Yeah, for some, they were juggling a third party and that was that tower moment, but that shifted everything for you where you're like, you know, you might've fought for it a little bit, but then I think more and more you kind of realize like, you know what, like she can have him or, or he can have her or male, it could be two men or two women take it, you know, that could be gay or lesbian too, take it as it resonates. But I think, um, yeah, I think there was some kind of juggling here. You found out about something and it caused a tower. This could also just be conflicting emotions. It's like, this person might sabotage as well. You didn't love them enough for them to put you through this. Like you weren't, you're, this was, this wasn't somebody that you were going to commit to like that. Or it's, how do I explain it? I just keep getting the energy of like settling. Like you guys were both kind of settling for each other. And you were kind of lonely. So there's kind of like this energy of illusion, but whatever they did that sabotaged this, you're like, I'm, oh hell no, I'm not, it's not worth it to me to deal with that. Like you, your perception shifted. But yeah, I feel like you did have that. Like it, it's almost like, because that's what I'm trying to like, I'm trying to explain it properly. Because I do feel like there was like, you saw potential for marriage and you did express feelings and you did have love for this person when you were together. And I'm not saying none of it was real, but I'm just saying part of it was loneliness and, you know, familiarity and not wanting to keep having to look, look for your person. Um, just kind of being comfortable with each other. You know what I mean? And I feel like this person could kind of sense that too, a little bit. I would think. Because it doesn't feel like there was any real deep conversations. Like, I'm not getting that there was a lot of emotional depth in this connection. I'm getting, like, the closeness was mostly an illusion. Like, I'm, I'm feeling like most of the emotional depth that was in this connection was more, um, I mean, I don't think there was. I don't think there was emotional depth in this connection. I'm not getting, yeah, like, I'm not getting any long, deep conversations. I'm not getting any real heart-to-heart -heart talks. I'm not getting, um, I'm not feeling like you're particularly impressed with them. Um, yeah. Let's see. I almost feel like your intuition was blocking this out when you guys were together too. Like, I don't think this person's like a horrible person, but I don't think, like, how do I explain it? It's almost like you never felt at home with this person. You know what I mean? Like you never, even if you did see marriage, it was more, like I said, more like a settling, like, okay, this is comfortable and familiar. I don't, you know, I don't want to keep looking anymore kind of energy. It wasn't like, this is my person. I'm emotional over this. Like, this is my true love. Like, I've wanted this person. I've been manifesting this person forever. Like it wasn't like that. It wasn't, you know, like, I don't, I don't feel like this. I don't feel like you cried in front of this person for them. I don't, I'm not, like, I'm not getting that. I don't want to say for, I mean, maybe some of you did, but for the most part, I don't, I don't think like, I just don't get like a lot of, um, closeness or depth or like intimacy there. You know, I'm not really getting that they were like, like that they that they had a lot in common with you either I'm getting kind of more of a like you were kind of more interesting than they are honestly um like this isn't somebody that like showed you new things that were like interesting and exciting it's like you showed them things but that was it you know what I mean it's like they I don't know hmm Let's 
see. Let's look into this more. Three of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Eight of Cups. They want to. They want to build something with you. They want a ten of cups with you. It's not happening. You walked away. You're. You're no. <laughs> you walked away a long time ago, and you waited for something. Something better to come in. And there's nothing to, they can do to compete for you. You just. You don't want them back. It's. It's that simple. You're never gonna want them back. You look at them a lot differently. Like I said, for some, you might have had love for them, and it's like they showed you little red flags, or they just kind of sabotage, and you're, you kind of recognize, like, hey, this isn't this isn't as deep as I thought it was, or this isn't, you know, this is more like a, a settling kind of energy. But I think you would have known that, too, because I think you would have, like, felt, like, the lack of, like, deep conversations and, like, the lack of connection. Like, there wasn't, like... They're, like you guys didn't have like a lot of like like I don't I don't feel like you had like similar like music tastes or like there was it was more like more like a mutual kind of loneliness or something or like a mutual familiarity comfort but 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 yeah no no real like this wasn't like the kind of person that like they were like your best friend or anything like that like I'm not I'm not getting that vibe I'm getting more like if you guys talked every day it was more like kind of casual conversations it wasn't it wasn't anything like really, you know, deep or real or romantic or, or not like super romantic, not like, you know, the energy difference, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's like they're trying to they took way too long and they're trying to come back in and you're you're single, you're good. Like you move. Yeah, they just they don't recognize that you moved on from this. There is. Yeah, there was an ending. You're you're not interested at all. Um. Like, does this person need closure or something? I mean, they... No, because I... Hmm. Yeah, they don't want to accept the ending. They're... It's so strange, because I keep getting that they were... This is, like, someone from years ago, so it's like, why are they even... Tell me more about this. Yeah, like, like you were already stable. You were already solid. You already had a lot going for you. Like, you were the queen of pentacles. You were the sun, male or female. And what was hidden is, like, they're trying to, they're trying to be, they're trying to deceive you almost. They're trying to be like, oh, I'm your match. I'm your king of pentacles. And they're not. They're like, surprise, I worked on myself. I'm coming back now. Like, I know it's been a few years. You you want to, you want to try again? It's like, mm -mm. karmic cycle turns. No, 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 no. This person sees through it, though. Whether you're male or female, you see through it. You know this isn't your match. This person's trying to present themselves as your match, as a, like, a false twin flame or false soulmate, and they can't. This was very karmic. I really don't even feel like a soulmate bond. Like, I really don't even, I don't know if this is even a soulmate for some of you, honestly. Like, I don't even think it got, like, I'm not getting, like, a strong past life vibe, maybe for some, but I feel more of, like, a, it's like they were like infatuated with you. I honestly don't think this person like really, I don't know. They might be in love with you, but I feel like a lot of like infatuation kind of energy, like obsession. Um, like you were something that was new and exciting, but they didn't, they didn't trust you. They didn't have your back. They didn't listen to you. Like this is just not, it's not something that you would ever want to go back to. I just feel like they turned you off. Like they did something like, I feel like there's like, I don't know if they're like pessimistic or they're like not very strong in themselves or they're very, um, 
like obsessive or something or they're just not I don't know there's something that they did that I feel like it was really a turn off for you let's look into this um because I didn't mean for this to get so long let's look into this stalker vibe here though yeah be careful like I said be careful being nice to this person because they might get the wrong idea Wow. Yeah, they're going to take any little breadcrumb you give them and wait and just be kind of waiting and just trying to hang out in your energy field, trying to trying to crawl back. You know, it's that energy of like, you know, you talk to them a little bit. And so now they're strategizing like, OK, what do I what do I do next to, to get them to get back in their energy, how to like they're, they're thinking that they can take these slow little steps to get you guys back to to being a couple or, you know, to where it used to be. And it's just it's not you're, you're not interested at all. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's over. It's it's been over. It's been long over. You got like all the swords out here. It's like no. Mm -mm. I feel like this person's in a dark place, like they're in a victim mentality, but I think it's also just their intuition telling them like they don't have a snowball's chance in hell with you. Like I almost feel like for some it's like they know they don't have a chance with you like deep down, but like maybe they might have like friends or family that's telling them to just to go for it. And that's bad advice because it's like, mm -mm, like you're done. You're already over it. You know what I mean? So like this person might be like conflicted because it's like they're waiting, but then they're like, well, why, why aren't they messaging me? Why isn't anything moving? Like, what do I do next? How do I get this moving? Um, and so it's like, they're in this like kind of dark place over it. Like this eight of swords meant like victim mentality, um, and kind of fighting themselves but but again that's that's their intuition that's their intuition telling them like hey like you again this is somebody that left years ago this is somebody that left like at least like two years or more is what I'm feeling um so this eight of swords is actually not a bad thing it's actually their intuition telling them like that block you're feeling it's 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 correct like there's th this per like they're not interested in you anymore you know Yeah, someone might be giving them like like false hope, like misleading advice. Hmm. Let's look more into this. What else do I feel from this? Hold on. I think people in their life see you as like a good influence on them or they they like someone's telling them to just follow their heart and go for it. And that's a mistake. <laughs> like that's, they're going to get rejected if they go for it. They need, they need to, you've already had a sense of closure. Again, even if you did love this person, for some, I feel like you were just settling. Like I, like I said, I feel like you did see marriage, but it was more just like loneliness, familiarity, comfort. For others, I feel like you actually did have love for them, but again, they, they might have done certain things that just kind of made you kind of almost disgusted with them or just not, you know, like, I don't think you have hatred for them, but I just think you started seeing them differently. Like you just, at some point, whatever it was, whether you were settling or not, you, you kind of just looked at the situation and you're like, this isn't really for me. This isn't what I want. Like you took, I almost feel like this person, I don't want to say they're like a psychic vampire, but it's almost like they had your energy. And when you got your closure, you took your energy back from, from them because I almost see like a perception shift where it's like you were seeing yourself in them or you were seeing your own energy in them. Like you were seeing what you were inspiring them to do. And then when you took your energy back from them, they just looked kind of basic and plain and empty. Like they didn't look physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. They didn't look very appealing to you anymore after you took your energy back from them. You know what I mean? 
But I almost feel like you had some awareness of this to a degree too, because it's like when you guys were together, there wasn't like a, like, I don't think you got emotional over this person. I don't think you really fought for them a lot when you guys were together, like maybe a little bit here and there, but it wasn't like a, like there, there wasn't any like deep mutual conversations. Like I said, there wasn't any like, um, like that closeness, like you didn't feel like this was like your best friend or your, your person. Like you didn't, um, like they just didn't have much to say. Like, I just get that they weren't, I don't know. Like they're just not very interesting. Like, I just, I don't feel like they had, it's almost like you had to lead the conversations or you had to, if you guys did talk about things, it was like about your interests. Like they didn't have their own interests or they didn't have like their own philosophies or their own, like, it wasn't like a mutual conversation. You know what I mean? Like when you're having like a deep conversation with like a soulmate or a twin flame, it's like, you kind of feel at home. Like you have, there's like an energy difference, but when you're with someone like that's just very karmic, it's not, it's not really all that real or solid. It's like you're, the conversations are more kind of casual. Like they usually don't get very deep. Um, and again, you had to do most of the talking. Like it wasn't, it was, is, you know, you had a lot more to say than this person did. But yeah, someone's giving them a bad advice to go towards you. Someone's, I'm hearing someone's tired of hearing about you. Someone's tired of like, like a family member or a friend or somebody is tired of hearing about you. Like somebody is hearing this person like vent about, you know, what it was like with you years ago. And this, this friend or family member is kind of like, 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 bro, you're kind of delusional. Like it's, it's a long time ago, you know, it was years ago. Um, and I almost feel like this per this person is kind of partially telling them to go towards you just like so that they don't have to hear about it anymore so that they can so that there's either they, they want this person to like they want them to be happy they do care about this person but I feel like they want them to like either be with like be with you or move on like I don't think they expect it's going to go anywhere with you but I think they want them to have that closure because you've already had that closure too and it's like this person I don't know it's like this person you don't owe this person anything. You know what I mean? Like if they left, if they messed up, that's, that's their closure. They don't, they don't need any more closure, but, but yeah, it's like this, this friend or family member is wanting them to move one direction or another. The lover's choice, making choices. I didn't mean for this reading to get so long. Let's, let's wrap this up and let's just look into that stalking energy I was getting. So like make, fake, fake profiles, watching you, social media, all that energy. Let's see what's up with that. Um, what can we get on that? King of Cups, the Hermit, Queen of Wands, the Chariot. Someone's really in their feelings seeing this person glow up and seeing them manifest whatever they want. It's like this is like a highly desirable person. Yeah, this person just, they need to... You might want to get this person out of your energy field, honestly. If you know who this is, you might want to just be honest with them and just be like, well, if you guys, if they talk to you, if they, if you have, I mean, I wouldn't just like necessarily go message them out of nowhere, but if you guys are talking, you might want to just, you know, be like, hey, like, let them know that you moved on from this. Let them, the delusion needs to end. Yeah, because they're thinking about fighting for this. They're thinking about coming in. They're seeing how attractive you are now. Some of them are trying to do like energy work or something to manifest you too. It's like four of swords. It's like they're meditating on it and it's like they want to fight for you. I just can't like, I, I hate to laugh. Like it's it's messed up to laugh, but it's just so delusional for them to think that because they know there's competition for you. You're either a king or queen of wands. You're very attractive. You're very abundant. You're very charismatic. Um, you're in your glow up. You're in your power right now. You're you're making the world your oyster. They know there's competition for you. But again, this is like somebody that's like... It, it's just it's not just not happening. Ah. Uh. Like, yeah, there's competitors for you, but they're not, like I said, they're not in the race. This person is is long out of the race and there's no getting back in it. Like, yeah, there's competition for you. You're going to be choosing between two or more people possibly, but they're not one of those people that you're, you're, you're even considering. All 
Okay, some of them, you need a, this warning. Oh. Some of them are going to try to meet you at like a party or something. You need to watch out for this. Because some of them are mustering up the strength. They know that they need to... Some of them are thinking that if they make a, a bold move towards you, it'll work. Or some of them are worried that like you won't talk to them after all this time. Like maybe some of them, maybe some of them have messaged you recently and you guys are like casually just, you know, talking and you're, you're trying to be nice to them, but you're not really interested. Um, for others, I feel like they haven't been talking to you. They've just been kind of spying. Some of them like use your discernment, use your intuition. But if you're going to like a party or a club or you're some like hosting some event or there's something coming up. You need to be careful because I feel like this person is going to try to gather the strength to just meet you there. Like they're just going to, they're just going to go and just kind of pour it out. Like, oh, this is, you know, like, like they might try to, um, they might, I don't know how they're going to get away with it, but they might try to pretend like, like they just happen to be in the area <laughs> or they might try to pretend like. Tell me about this. That the magician. Some of them are trying to do spell work or energy work to manifest. You gotta watch out. This person's icky. The delusion. Like, like that's like when I tune into this. You guys know what I'm what I'm feeling when I'm picking up on. Like, does that make sense to you guys? Where it's like when I tune into this person, I don't get like. I'm not getting like serial killer vibes or like any like like they're gonna beat anybody up like I'm not feeling that but it's the delusion that I keep coming back to that I keep channeling that's kind of worrying it's just it's the delusion of of going years without talking to somebody and thinking you can just pop back in and just have them you know what I mean like just just pick up where you guys left off or get back on track it's like that entitlement is is a little creepy to me, honestly, to that extent, you know? Especially if it's not true love. It makes sense when you're waiting for your true love, like going through that for them. But when it was when it was more familiarity to begin with, mm -mm, no. Are some of them if you're casually talking? Like, let's say you guys are, they're kind of being friendly with you. They might just say like, oh, I saw on your social media, like you said, this event was going on. I figured, you know, hey, like they're going to pretend, like they're going to play it off. They're going to be like, oh, I was just in the area. I figured I'd, you know, I figured I'd stop in. Why not? Like, you know, come, you know, come say hi. Um, they're trying to weasel their way back in. Ugh, gross energy. They think it's justice. They think they they think they deserve you now. They think because they've they've fixed their life and they're trying to do better. They think they deserve you now. Oh no, you're not some kind of prize to be won like that. Mm -mm. No. What a ridiculous energy. Yeah, be careful who you're saying what to as well. If you have mutual friends with this person, be careful. Because I keep feeling like someone's sick of hearing about you. Someone, I just keep hearing like somebody is like, I'm like, I'm sick of hearing about this person. Like somebody's sick of them talking about you. Because <laughs> if you have mutual friends with this person, they might be trying to use someone else to get back in your energy. Like, oh, put in a good word for me. Talk to them for me. Like, they're, they're trying to, they're trying to strategize. <sighs> they're going to have to, at some point, put this burden down. Otherwise, it's just going to be. It's, it's like they're going to be going in circles with themselves. Like I said, like, if this is your energy group, you're already, you're so over this person. Like, it's not, you don't have a tinge of emotion for this person. Like, you don't have any love for this person. You don't, you wouldn't touch this person with a 10-foot pole at this point, honestly. Like, you got your closure a long time ago. This person's almost going to be fighting with themselves. They're going to be stressing themselves out. At some point, they're going to have to let that burden go. And they're going to have to accept that this is a loss, that, that you're not coming back. Um, 
Okay, let's wrap this reading up. Do you need anything? Do you need to know anything else? Be careful with this person's possessive vibes, though. It's like I wouldn't. Because for some, if you're on a, a relationship on social media, I feel like this person might be like looking at your person's profile and like reading up all about them and stuff and like. I just get stalker vibes. Ugh. So I'm like seeing them like go it's just really creepy it's like they don't have anything better to do right now like they might not maybe they don't really have a lot going for them right now they're just because I just see someone that's like at home a lot like just like watching you they're watching you on a platform or they're watching you on like social media and like they're like someone comments on one of your posts and they they, they go and see who that person is like they're like obsessed with you ew Ugh. this person also they need to they need to get their mental health straight because it almost feels like they're using you as a crutch in a way too like they they don't it's like a fantasy it's kind of like a sick twisted fantasy like they have like this fantasy of you like they want to own you they want to possess you you know what I mean? Like, they almost see you as, like, their property in a way. Like, oh, I'm going to get that back. Like, that was mine, so that's going to be mine again. Like, this person's, like, they're fantasizing about you, like, all the time. Like, they're, like, daydreaming about you every day. I feel like they're, like, constantly thinking about you. Um, like, they're, like, obsessing. And it's, it's, it's to the point, again, of delusion where it, it's, like... What made this person, like, why, why now? Why, you know, because like I said, it's been at least two years. So why, why the fuck now after all that? Eight of Wands, Four of Cups. The Emperor. The Page of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. They might feel a new person in your energy field. And maybe they're in a position to pursue it now. Maybe they were maybe they're single now and they weren't single before or something like that. Yeah, they think that they they think they're going to work they think they're going to work toward they th No, they can't compete with this emperor. They can't compete with this emperor. They're trying they're trying to they want to they want to put the work in now. Mm -mm, I don't think so. Not after so long. Oh, wow. Okay, any final messages like any warnings about the whole stalking thing? But again, use your discernment cuz like I said for most of you, I don't feel like this person is dangerous, but like for like maybe 5-10% of you, maybe there is some kind of danger there. Like you have to you know, this is like, the, you know, for more in-depth readings, I can like get more specific, but this is, this is like a collective reading. So there's a lot of different people here. So yeah, maybe for, maybe for two or three of you there, this is some danger. Cause I do get, I do get a stalking vibe. Um, I do get, I keep getting social media. Like you need to, if I would, I would too, if you're resonating with this reading too, I would put your stuff on private. Because some of you have, like, you block this person, but, like, your your Facebook or Instagram or whatever is, like, public. Like, anybody can go look at your stuff. Because I'm they're, they're, they're getting something. I don't know what they're getting, but there's some kind of information that they're getting, whether they're getting it through friends or family or, like, a platform you on, you're on. But I'm getting that they are finding some way to, like, get, um like, their daily dose of you. You know what I mean? Like, they are finding some way to get some of your energy. So you you need to be mindful of that, especially if you're posting where you're going, if you're posting that you're going out places, like you you need to be cautious with that. Any final messages here? I would do a cut and clear spell on this person. If you do witchcraft, I would do a cut and clear spell if you haven't already and block your energy, protect your energy. If you have mutual friends, you you might need to, if this is for you and you're resonating with that, you might need to let, find a way to like maybe, 
I don't, I mean, use your discernment. Like I said, it's going to be different for everybody, but if you have mutual friends that are like telling this person about you and, and they're, you know, cause someone's sick of hearing about you, whether this is a mutual friend of yours or like maybe just someone that they know personally, someone's tired of hearing about you. Um, so maybe let people know, like, That you're that you're not into it, that you're not you're not having it. Like find a way to put it out there that you're not at you 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 don't you you would never want this person back. No matter what they do, you're just never gonna be into them like that again. Cause I feel like if if there is mutual friends that they're talking to, like they they can go relay that to your to the person. You know what I mean? Like or because if you just, this person is so delusional that I almost feel like if you just, if you pretend like you're dating somebody new, that's not going to stop them. They're just going to stalk you even harder and try to find out who that person is. You know what I mean? Like they're not, I don't, I don't think dating someone new is going to be a deterrent. I think it has to be like, they, they need to know that you do not feel anything. It has nothing to do with any other man or woman. You just genuinely do not want this delusional person back in your life. You are the empress or the emperor. You're not, you're not feeling it. <laughs> Yeah, they need to get that information, information coming through Knight of Swords. They need to get that information that, that it's it's not, you already turned away. You already, you, yeah. Any final messages? Let's wrap it up. Yeah, they're super nostalgic in their head, nostal uh, anxious. Okay, I hate giving this message, but... <laughs> Ace of Wands is very phallic. Knight of Wands can be a fuck boy, fuck girl type. Some of them are jacking off to you. They're sending you sexual energy. Um, they're like obsessed. Like it's gross. It's like a creepy energy. Like this person doesn't have a life right now. Like they don't have anything going for them. And it's almost like it, it's it's really creepy because it's almost like they're having. It's almost like they're having like a relationship with you in their head. Like they're acting, it's it's like they're they're so delusional. Like they're so they're in this little fantasy land where it's like they're actually having like a relationship with you in their head. Where it's like I almost feel like it's like their comfort. Like if they have stuff they have to deal with throughout the day, like you know stress and a lot on their plate. It's like at night they go home and you know they're they look at your pictures or they look at your social media and they get their daily dose of you and then they're touching themselves to you sexual energy here and acting like you're there with them doing that you know I hate I'm sorry to give you guys that message I know it, I know it's creepy and gross I'm sorry but you know you guys this isn't one of those positive vibes only channels if if you need a warning you need a warning this is this is what's coming through if this is for you um yeah it's like I just see this person like jacking off and like touching themselves and they're like talking to you while they do it it's so freaking creepy like I'm actually seeing it in my head like I'm getting like a visual of it, like they're, like they're dirty talking, or they're like, oh baby, like like they they're, they're, I don't know, like they're saying something to you, like they're acting like you're you're there with them, doing that with them. Some of them could be doing sex magic on you too, is what I'm feeling from this. But it's like because they get so anxious and upset, and they miss you, and then it's like they just kind of. Like they go back and forth between being upset over it and being in this kind of like like upset energy and then just like delusional where they're like pretend like you guys are together now. Where they pretend like they have another chance with you. Um, this person needs to fuck off, honestly. Like this person needs to stay away from your social media. They need to they need to get lost. I mean, because I'm sorry, but honestly, personally, like I and just in my opinion, if you're jacking off to someone and you know they don't want you, I just think that's kind of weird. Like it's kind of it's it's just like it's like trying to create an energetic connection with you that you don't want, you know, and they're they're almost they might even have like demons come through and like pretend to be you or something or pretend to have some connection with them. Because they're so desperate and they're not... Because your energy is blocked from them. Like, you're not... You, you, the cords are cut on your end. Like, you're just not into it. You know what I mean? Like, you... Yeah. 
This is gross. I'm sorry, but this is fucking gross. <laughs> You know, don't give this person power either. Like, don't get freaked out. This is just something to be aware of. It's something to, again, like, if you need to block them, block their energy, block them energetically, cut the cords if you haven't already, do the, the cord cut, cutting ritual, cleanse your energy, uh, protect yourself. Don't, don't let everyone know where you're going. Like, like make it clear to this person in a safe way that they're, it's, yeah, they're, they're trying to sneak back into your energy, like we've said, and it's just, it's not... Mm -mm. for some it's like they think that they think if they can get past the wall it'll be the queen of cups for them again and it's not happening it's it oh my god this person is gross oh just the energy of them like jacking off to you when you do not want them when you don't want to have sex with them you don't want to be with them you moved on from it. You already got your closure. It's just, it's, they need to stop living in a fantasy land and they, they need to get a, a dose of reality. They need, it's, again, this person has nothing going on for them and they're not a very interesting person. So I feel like that's like your, it's like they idolize you. It's like you're this fantasy to them where they need to, they need to get a life. Honestly, they need to, they need to date somebody new or they need to, ugh. It's just so creepy how delusional it is. So yeah, watch out for this person. Um, I'm going to put this out there. Let me know if this is resonating with you guys. I really appreciate your comments. And please subscribe if this resonates too, because I do, you know, readings on here frequently. Um, I really appreciate the support. Yeah, just really be mindful of this person. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys for commenting, subscribing, uh, liking the video. Uh, you know, I love hearing your stories too. So I appreciate you all very much. I'm going to go ahead and put this up. Thanks.